GitHub Copilot has added a free tier for Visual Studio Code users, and in the last year has caught up massively to Cursor's feature set. But is it as good as Cursor? Let's find out. The first thing we need to look at is the Edit with Copilot feature. This gives you the ability to read and write from multiple files in your codebase at a time. You can even use a number of context tools, such as the hashtag codebase modifier, to automatically search and find relevant files for you. As it generates, you'll see the code updates stream in, and then you can review them one by one and accept or discard them all in a click. In this case, I asked Copilot to add to our admin API the ability to read and write the comments collection. And in short, it didn't do a good job. It simply didn't find the correct files or make the correct updates. This is a prompt I've seen successful pretty much every time with Cursor and Windsurf. I tried it multiple times and it never worked correctly. To make things worse, when you use the code base modifier to pull files automatically so you don't have to manually list them as context, the search can be incredibly slow. I've waited minutes just for the search to complete. And then sometimes I just get an error and it doesn't work at all. This time I'm trying a much simpler prompt, fix a bug in our existing site, so that we do client-side routing correctly instead of server-side. This is something that even Devin was able to do correctly. It's never really failed with Cursor and Windsurf. And first, it's taking an eternity with GitHub Copilot. This content.tsx file has been updating forever. I actually think it's broken right now, but I can already tell it didn't do the right thing. The correct solution is just to set this no client-side routing variable to false. Pretty much every tool is able to pick that up, yet GitHub Copilot updated tons of files and code and it simply just completely got stuck on content.tsx and it's in a broken infinite loading state. I was really excited to try this feature and the UX seems pretty good, but I've been disappointed by its quality and bugginess and slowness and I really just cannot see myself using this day to day. But hey, technically this feature is in preview even though it's enabled by default. So maybe with a little time, they'll make this better. To me, the multi-file editing agent feature is the shining most important feature of Cursor, Windsor and the like. Note that I am using one other new feature from GitHub, which is you can now choose what model you want, which includes Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is undoubtedly the best model today for coding. It's what Cursor and Windsurf use by default, and I'm using it so we can apples to apples comparison on code generation. If you're curious if when using GPT-4.0, the default model that's not in preview, if I got better results with even the simple prompt about client-side routing, unfortunately the answer is no. GitHub Copilot is still trying to update files that don't even make sense. Like it's removing git static props, and it's also listing files in this working set that apparently didn't even update. So the AI regenerated this file, but didn't actually change anything at all in the file. There's no diff. So I'm honestly just hitting UX problems all over the place. I also gave the same prompt to try with O and Mini. It's not any better. It's not doing it right. And it's just wiping out our JavaScript for some reason. I also tried with O and Preview and it's still not doing anything. It's really broken for me for some reason. Let's compare that to Cursor, where I like to use the agent mode by default, so I don't have to tag codebase, it automatically searches the codebase and finds relevant files. The codebase search is incredibly fast compared to GitHub, and the output starts streaming a lot sooner too. But most importantly, Cursor's actually doing the correct thing and identified the admin GraphQL API. It's adding the models and resolvers that I need and hooking up this to the API correctly. I've had the same good results with this with Windsurf as well. Now let's try fixing the routing bug with Cursor. This one uses a smaller code base, so I really thought GitHub Copilot would be able to do this one. And Cursor does it exactly right. It finds a variable, it flips the Boolean. It's a really simple fix. But hey, maybe it was unfair for us to compare Cursor's best feature to one of GitHub Copilot's newest features. Let's touch on another couple great features that Copilot has added. One of my all-time favorite AI features is AI in the terminal. Just hit command I, the AI will spit out a result, hit command enter to run it. Now you don't actually need to be a bash wizard to pretend you're a bash wizard. Cursor has basically the same thing, except it hijacks command K in the terminal, which drives me crazy. I hate that, I like command I better. One other cool feature GitHub Copilot has is the ability to auto-generate a commit message which it does pretty nice by default. When cursor generates commit messages, it can be a little bit more verbose, which is not quite my style, but it's fine. I can just delete the rest of this stuff. One other nice thing that GitHub Copilot has now is custom instructions by adding a .github slash copilot instructions.md file. It's basically the equivalent of cursor's cursor rules. GitHub Copilot supports inline autocomplete. It was frankly the OG of AI-driven inline autocomplete, and it does a good job. But Cursor takes things even further by being able to suggest inline updates to multiple lines you can hit tab to complete, as well as the standard usual stuff. You know, tab to complete works fine. Overall though, it's the composer that makes Cursor really shine. As a result, I want to do one more test to see if Copilot can compete here. Instead of taking an existing code base, I'm going to start with something new from scratch. 
let's simulate a real-world end-to-end workflow with a bare minimum code base and see how they compare. I'm going to start by making a brand new, fresh Remix app. And I'm going to take this design in Figma and convert it to code with builder.io. I'll grab the CLI command and I'm going to paste it in the cursor terminal. We're now generating the code for the design matching the style and components and theme of our code base. And now I've got my beautiful design in code and I'm gonna ask cursor to replace this placeholder with a table of users. So I said, replace the table placeholder with a table of users from randomuser.me. So let's see if it can find the right location, generate a UI, including API data. All right. Looks like it did great. It found the right location and it added the table, even with a nice hover effect. Now let's try the same prompt over with GitHub Copilot. We need to manually tag that we need to include the code base as well. Copilot again takes a lot longer and it didn't even do it correctly. It didn't even include it where it's supposed to go. Honestly, this code would have never worked anyway. It's totally incomplete. Let's try again, this time specifically manually adding the file we want that has the user table placeholder and wait a super long time again. And thank goodness, it did something this time. It did add a table. Doesn't look quite as nice or have the images, but that's fine. The code's also not as good. Cursor put the table into its own component and file, whereas VS Code just added all this stuff in line, which is just kind of messier. But the thing I think that's more clear to me now is don't trust GitHub Copilot's indexing. Always manually tag files when you want to use them in the multi-file editing interface. For me personally, I hate doing that. I feel like it's a waste of my time. I love Windsurf and Cursor's agent that I can just type things, it figures out what it needs to see, what it needs to do, and just does it reliably with surprisingly clean and functional code. Overall though, these are two feature-packed AI coding assistants. For me, I'm willing to pay $20 a month. And so I'm more than happy with Cursor. And I see no reason here to switch to GitHub Copilot. But that said, GitHub Copilot has a free tier. And while you may hit the free tier limits after not long and need to upgrade anyway, plans start at just $10 a month. In my biased opinion, you should pay $20 for Cursor. Cursor saves me hours of coding. If you learn to use it well and you value your time at all, I think Cursor is more than worth it. If you want a lower cost option that's similarly good and feature rich, Windsurf is really, really good too. But hey, I'd personally still take GitHub Copilot plus VS Code over some IDs like Zed or IntelliJ. For a full rundown of GitHub Copilot versus Cursor, take a look at our full article in the Builder.io blog. And in the blog, you'll also find comparisons with Windsurf, Devon, Klein, and a bunch of other AI tools. But ultimately what matters most is what do you prefer? What is your favorite AI tool? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you next time.